Hi. And we have no bailiffs. That story of one hero, a special hero, who alone could stand against the darkness where no other could. Those are good. But we know those folk are among us because we have a secret better than the secret of steel or how to trick the devil. We have the secret of courage because we know because of the Beowulfs in our world. Courage isn't fearless. Only idiots are fearless. I'm a smith, and fire scares the hell out of me. But it does not stop me. That's the difference. Courage is being scared to death and still moving. Doing the necessary thing when everything else says, run. I knew a Beowulf in my case. That was a man named Stephen, my brother. And like the great Beowulf of old, the dragon got him. Because the truth of dragons is, even if you win, it's usually death for the slayer. But I prefer to remember him when he was Beowulf in the first story. Beowulf has a secret in it. The name is sometimes rendered Name a man that is to say one who is like or faces a bear. There was once when we were young and our joints were supple still and our bodies lean and hard and we could put our boats in the water and we would push our wave riders over the sea. We took those boats with others close to us and dear to us from all over. Inns from the far north, other Scandinavians, Germans, Scots, even a few Italians would join us. And we would go places some others would not dare because we were together, because we were that young that we didn't think about the dragons and the bears didn't scare us as much as they probably should. And there was one day, far beyond Vinland, beyond the Great Inland Lake, we were among the smaller lakes in the northwest of this kingdom long ago. And, oh, what a joy to move over the water. Our bodies, driving us at speed. We can travel so fast, so far away. And finally, our leader said, break, take a break, rest. We will take a day, we will sit here. We will have a tough day. And we finally had some calm after many adventures. And I kid you not, there were times we were trapped between earth and sky and the gods hammer struck the ground so hard there were sparks in the air. But this day, it was clear and calm and we were resting and we made such food at the lunchtime fire. Oh, we were sitting back and starting to share stories, plan ahead and everything else. And in that case, I was not the hero. But I was the one who was aware 
when that trickster bear turned up up where you were sitting. <laughs> and our bag with our food for the rest of the journey was right before him. And his head and shoulders were in that sack. <laughs> and I wish I would have been the brave one who calmly turned to the rest and said, Ladies, gentlemen, there is a bear. We must do something. But it came out that day in a very undignified, There's a bear! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And some jumped up and did the prudent thing and ran. <laughs> and some jumped up and froze. And one jumped up. And as that bear pulled his head out, sized up the situation faster than we did, and grabbed that bag and ran. Our Beowulf, I broke ran after the bear. <laughs> oh, dear. Because in that bear's mouth was the sack, and in that sack was all the food, and it was five days back. <laughs> and all I know from where I stood, I shook off my panic a bit, and I found a little bit of courage. But I'm the older brother, so my job is to pick up the wood axe and throw wood on the fire and see what's going to need to be done to clean up the mess. And I watched as the bear shot behind a pine tree. And up the hill, I saw the bear's mom. Oh, man. Standing up, having a look at everything going on making sure her boy was doing a good job. <laughs> and my brother disappeared behind the pine tree with the bear. It was two months before his passing that my brother confessed. Every year for the 40 years since, his story was, I don't know what happened behind that tree. <laughs> What I know happened is the next moment that bear shot up the hill to mom and my brother shot down to the lake with the bag of food <laughs> and leapt into a boat and was out in the middle of the lake. <laughs> None of this is made up. A little hyperbole because I'm an English major and that means I have a license to. <laughs> yeah. That's right. And as a courtesy, while you're all here, you may drive on my license. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it was the damn stupidest thing anybody ever did. <laughs> but we ate. We ate. <laughs> we got both. And he was scared to death, but he did what needed to And I know we've done that. There are bale wolves everywhere. Everywhere. And the secret you told me two months before he passed was I couldn't think of anything else to do. And it slowed down for a moment behind that tree. And the next thing I knew, I slapped his ass. <laughs> his brother or the bear? No, wait for a moment. And you let hey. go of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> and I ran. <laughs> so, that is the story of Stephen Beowulf, Bear Chaser. Bear Spanker. <laughs> bear Spanker. <laughs> So with that, I've been saying to some people, the mo this is one of the most authentic dub dubs I've been to because now I am living in the Decameron. I am living in the Canterbury Tales. Hmm. 
We have coming through play. There are some I do not see here. To absent friends. Skulls. 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 Skulls